Pieces. It's me, um, Nora, and I see it's going to really jiggle the screen if I read the book there. I wanted to say hi to Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mima. And I wanted to say hi to Melda because Melda, I think you're going to, I'm going to send it out tomorrow. So that's Saturday and you were there Saturday. So, hi Melda. This is a story for Mima to listen to. And my mom, my mom and Mima, I send them out a story once a week. Usually Monday. I'm way behind. Okay, so today we're going to read a whole loaf. Now they're talking about a loaf of bread, which we all know what that is. Um, usually we don't make bread, although I know mom's made bread. Uh, we usually buy it at the store. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is called um, A Whole Loaf, Please. Following the Great Revolution in Russia many years ago, there was much suffering among the people of the country. Thousands starved to death. Thousands more who had been very rich had become beggars. It was difficult for the children to understand. The change had come suddenly upon them all, and I think many of them must have cried their eyes out many, many times. There was one family that I know about that had a very hard time. The father had been killed, the mother had died, and Grandma was left with three children. Once they lived in a beautiful home, and the table had always been spread with good things. Now they were living in a hovel. Grandma was knitting hard all day to try to earn money to keep the children alive. But when she was done with her work, it was very difficult to get food in exchange for her work. There was so little food to be had. One day, the last morsel had been eaten. After a crust each, for the midday meal, there was not one crumb left in the house. Grandma was very, very sad, but she tried not to let the children see and know how worried she was. She called them around her and told them what was the matter, and then they all knelt down to pray. She felt like they had come to the end of their resources and that unless Jesus should help, they would surely die of starvation like the other poor people all around them. So they prayed. What a prayer meeting it was. Just grandma and the three children, but they all prayed as only one starving person can. I don't know what they all said, but the little girl's prayer sounded like this. Dear Jesus, please send us something for supper, not just a crust, but a whole loaf. Please. They had not seen a whole loaf for many, many days, and it was like asking for a birthday cake with just an ordinary meal. Supper time came, and there was still no food. The poor little dears. Okay, so I ooh, almost forgot to show you guys. Here is the picture of them all praying together before dinner. And they had no food. No food. I'm going to try putting it down again, but I can see it's already moving. Eesh, this is rough. Okay. They all longed for something to eat. You haven't sharpened the, the bread knife yet, said the little girl to Grandma, who still completely believed in her prayer that it would be answered. So Grandma sharpened the knife according to the Russian custom. That evening passed by, cold and hungry. The children were about to go to bed when there was a knock at the door. Grandma answered the knock, and there stood a man covered in snow, and she recognized him as a friend of the family, and she welcomed him in. He said he had tramped 20 miles that day. What has brought you here tonight? she inquired. Oh, about noon today. I was impressed that you were in dire need, and I must come to you. And then turning to the children, he said, And you will never guess 
what I have brought with me. I can, said the little girl. Well, what is it then? asked the gentleman. It's a whole big loaf, said the little girl. Ah, and that is just what it is, said the friend, opening his overcoat and drawing it out. How did you know? Hmm. And then they told him how they prayed that Jesus would send them not crust, but a whole loaf. And together they went down on their knees and thanked him for his wonderful care to those who believe in him. And though it was only a loaf, no butter, what a wonderful supper they had that night. Okay, and now uh, here, you know what, let me see. Girls forgot. So this is Grandma when she was sharpening the knife um, from the little girl's face that she thought, hey, you know, it's coming, get ready. And then here is, well, let me see if I can figure out. There we go. Ah, here is the man with the loaf, the excited children, and the grandma. Yeah, that's everybody. Um, so that is a really, uh, it's a pretty touching story. It touches our hearts because we've all had, we've all lived a long time except for maybe Melda. And um, so we've all been through different things, you know, like days when, okay, we don't have dinner tonight, but tomorrow I shall work and we shall have breakfast. Those kind of things have happened to most of us. And we know how that feeling is when it's just like, oh, Jesus, be merciful. And he is. Okay, so. I love you girls, and um, I hope you have a wonderful day today. I will try to be a little more faithful in writing. Okay. I hope you like your new iPad, Mima. If it doesn't work, tell the girls to let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll talk to you girls soon.